Hey Pisces and Pisces lovers and friends, welcome back to the Pisces portal. This is going to be another channeled message video and I may do a little reading at the end. I am not sure just yet. I just woke up so there's a lot I'm not sure about yet today. But um, <laughs> if I decide to do a reading, I will leave a timestamp. So please look in the description box to see what I decided. But I am going to start this off with a channeled message, meaning I'm just going to be speaking. If you have no interest in listening to me speak in this video, by all means, please do what is best for you at this point. Thank you and have a great day. So yesterday after I got off from work, I meditated for about 20 minutes and this really amazing thought came to my mind. Oh, and just a couple of disclaimers before I get to this wonderful gem that um, I feel like spirit whew, blessed me with and gave me some relief um, with. I want to say that this is not probably best associated with or to be projected onto a past or present romantic partner who has done you wrong. This channel message also probably may not benefit you if you do not believe in a higher power and you do not believe that that higher power is caring and loving. And this may not um, benefit you if you don't believe that your thoughts have any power, that your thoughts don't hold any weight in whatever it is that you experience or the lack thereof. So those are my disclaimers, if, okay, before I get into this. I'm sure there are thousands more that I could have come up with, but that is what I could think of, could remember, and thought were the most important. But I meditated yesterday after work and this thought came to my mind and it goes back to love for Pisces Collective. And it really just shows me that, you know, the subconscious thoughts video I did, um, there was something to that in terms of Pisces Collective and thinking about love. I just really feel like we we are just some lovers straight up, okay? <laughs> and um, we love love. Uh, we love to receive love, but more than anything, I believe, in my opinion, that we love to give love, you know? So I think that's why so many of these um, messages are, are coming up for me. And this message pertains to worthiness, right? And how and why you are worthy of love from a general standpoint. And then also through the person that is right for you, okay? Or a soulmate or twin flame, whatever term or label works best for you. So yesterday's spirit basically told me why we are all, you know, worthy of love and a romantic partnership specifically. You can probably apply this, of course, to any other type of relationship, right? But it was specifically about romantic relationships. And the way that this point was made to me was by kind of asking me this question, which is, when are you ever unworthy of experiencing or receiving the love of God, spirit, source, whatever you'd like to refer to a higher power as. And so it's like, think about that. When, when are you ever unworthy of receiving love from God? In the context of a romantic relationship, it's really about 
you receiving that love of God through this other person, okay? And sorry, I'm just like taking a moment. <laughs> it's like you're a divine, you know, expression of the creator. So is this other person. So literally all that's happening with the two of you coming together. And also, again, this is in the context of like a good relationship. I'm not talking about the person who broke your heart and stomped all over it and threw it away. I'm not talking about them. So that's why I gave that disclaimer about this not being best applied to someone who has hurt you. We're talking about in the context of like a decent person at the least. Okay. So, <laughs> um, that, where was I at? Uh, I don't remember, but anyways, you are a divine expression, okay, of the creator and so is this person. And literally what's happening when the two of you come together to love and care for one another, it's just exchanging the love of God, okay, between the two of you. That is what's happening. So again, when have you ever been unworthy of God's love? Ever. Whether it came through a parent, whether it came through another relative, okay, a sibling, whether it came from a friend, a stranger, anything. Okay, so it's like we're always worthy of receiving God's love. Why is it that when it comes to a romantic partnership, things get all complicated and it's like we just think oh you know this can't be i'm not worthy sure it can be sure you are worthy all you're doing is what you do in all your other relationships which is receive and give the love of of god within you to another person and they're sharing that love back to you you're always worthy to receive god's love you know, whether it's directly linked to an emotional connection that you have with someone else or even in receiving something that you need, okay? Your needs being met in some capacity is you experiencing the love of God as well, you know? So I don't know if that does anything for anyone. Maybe it's just me, okay? <laughs> Maybe I should speak for myself. But I thought that that, you know, was valuable because, again, that's all that's happening when you and another person come together, the right person, especially not the wrong person, because everybody is not operating from their divinity. Okay, so yes, everybody is an expression of the divine, but everybody does not act like it. Everybody's not aware of it. Some people are aware of it and, you know, maybe they go down another road. I don't know, okay? Um, it doesn't mean that they're not an expression of the divine. Um, and if you want to, I don't know, go off the deep end and talk about how I don't even know what, please don't go off the deep end, okay? <laughs> um, do you, but I hope you can accept the message for what it is. Um, and I hope it is somewhat helpful. I think I'm going to get some whispers of love messages like I did the last time. So let's see. Man, yeah, you're always worthy of love. Okay. You know, and that should give you a sense of self-assurance, a deep sense of self-assurance. You know what I mean? Um, it should give you confidence because at the end of the day, this is all God anyway, you know, in my opinion. I'm sure someone would love to debate me and tackle me to the ground to say otherwise, but <laughs> whatever, okay? <laughs> um, you know, you're always worthy. And just because you didn't receive the love of God from someone who maybe was supposed to give it to you, right? Uh, maybe it was a spouse, a child, 
a friend, you know, a parent. That doesn't mean you're not worthy. It just means that that person wasn't operating in their divinity in order to give you the love that you are deserving of. Period. <laughs> that's that's all that was. No more, no less. Okay? God is always going to get um send love in your direction. Always. Whether it's, you know, again, through a certain type of relationship or connection or through you receiving something, okay? Having your needs met, making your dreams come true, whatever it is. So God has always got your back, okay? You're not just out here just, you know, <laughs> like no one's looking after you. Spirit is always looking after you because you are itself. Like, come on. We really got to believe this stuff, y'all. Like, or what are we doing? <laughs> like, what are we doing? Okay. Wow. This spend quality time together card came out in the last um, message that I did like this. Listen and talk to each other. So, of course, this could be related to someone if they're already in your life. But I really feel like spirit wants us to take time with spirit, meditate, and continue to reflect, okay? Continue to reach for the next thought that is going to give you a sense of relief, okay? Choose love. You always have choice. Make yours with love. I'm mean, Very simple, okay? That's why I said, what are we doing? You know, what, it is, what is it that we're thinking about? Is your mind like focused on love? What thoughts do you have in your mind about love, about yourself, about yourself in relation to other people, um, about your worthiness in love? Spirit is saying, ask for help. What do you really need? Be willing to accept support. Yeah, I really feel like spirit wants a lot of you. And look, we got this little mermaid. Come on now. Um, <laughs> Pisces, ask for help. Okay, ask your ancestors, your angels, your spirit guides to help you. To help shift your focus to love. Okay. Let me just get some cards from here. This is probably not going to be a long reading. I will do another, like, love reading, I think, today. Let's see. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you see. Yeah, for a lot of you, there's already someone in your life. Okay. Maybe some of you feel like you need help with trying to shift your thinking to a place of faith about where this connection is going. Don't give in to negative thoughts. I don't know why, like, I'm sure, you know, there's a logical reason. Well, there is a logical reason. But, um, ooh. We just give in to negative thoughts about love, I feel, more than anything else. And it's just like, why? <laughs> the same energy is used to, you know, believe in something positive, true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Let's see what this one is. Getting, <laughs> wow, spending quality time together, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So, see, this is why I said this is not to be applied to, you know, somebody from your past that did you wrong. This is to be applied to someone who is the one, okay? The one true love for you. Can you see that? I think so. <laughs> okay, Pisces. This is the one. So, Pisces, that is all I have for you. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thank you all so much for um, all of your comments. I haven't read the ones from yesterday yet, but I appreciate all of the comments, all of the support. 
all of the kind words for sharing your stories i don't take any of it lightly so thank you for sharing with me and much love to you pisces i'll see you later bye